jamming. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a homemade black currant jam. I have a couple of black currant bushes in my backyard and for the last 10 years or so I've been harvesting a crop of black currants and they turn this into jam every single year. I bottle it and we enjoy it for the whole year. Now, I use this jam not just for croissants and bread but I also use it to decorate cookies as well as I put it inside cakes and it's absolutely delicious. I'm going to show you today how to make this jam. It's so simple. If you don't have black currants, you can go out and purchase some black currants or if you want to use raspberries or strawberries or cherries or any other berry, you can do that as well. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. Every year I wait for these beautiful berries to grow. This year I got a great crop. I got 15 cups of these gorgeous berries. I like to make these in batches. Here I have 5 cups. These have already been picked and sorted and rinsed to remove any bugs, debris and little dry leaves. Before we get into the jam, we need to sterilize the jars. I use 250 ml jars and I'm just going to sterilize about 5 or 6 bottles by dumping them in boiling water and then I'm going to leave them aside to drain. When you're done with the bottles, do the same with the caps. I'm going to rinse out the pot and I'm going to add the berries in. I'm also going to add 4 cups of sugar. While this may seem a lot, the original jam recipe on the preserve package calls for 7 cups. So my recipe uses considerably less sugar. Give this a stir and allow the sugar to melt. Allow this to cook for 15 minutes, stirring at intervals. We want the berries to cook and we want the sugar to melt completely. To reduce the foaming, you could add some butter, but it doesn't bother me and the foam settles down pretty quickly. Once done, turn off the heat and allow this to cool completely. Once cool, I'm just going to pour it into my food processor. And I'm going to process this and once it's nice and smooth, I'm going to pour it back into the pot. To set the jam, I will be using pectin. This package is 57 grams and it's going to set this batch perfectly. Pectin is a natural occurring substance found in berries, apples and other fruit. When heated together with sugar, it causes a thickening that you find in jams and jellies. Add this to the jam and bring this to a rolling boil for just one minute. Once this is done, it's ready to pour into the mason jars. Once you've got all of your jam in the jars, it's ready to seal. was my last batch so I'm just going to add these to the rest of my stock for this year. Thank you so much for joining 
joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for blackcurrant jam. I've been making this for so many years. I started making this jam with my mother over 10 years ago and it's become a yearly ritual in this house. I can't believe I haven't made a video sooner. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to leave me a comment below, share my video with your family and friends so they can enjoy it as well as all my other recipes. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Bye.